everybody, welcome to Schlag, episode number three. It is Saturday, it's cold, I got a dog in my lap, and we're heading to the shop. I'm stoked about today because uh, the shop has been slow, as it normally is this time of year. It always slows down right around Christmas, New Year's. So we've been working on kind of some stuff that I don't love working on, but you know, it needs to get fixed anyway. And I'm uh, very appreciative and blessed that it is there to work on. but. I had a customer drop off uh, 08 300 XCW that we are putting a top and bottom end in. I think also servicing the suspension and cleaning the carburetor and doing all sorts of other things. So I'm really, really excited because that is the stuff I absolutely love to do. Love, 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 love building two strokes, uh, any dirt bike really and from the ground up and just making them awesome for the customer. He uh, sucked some water into it, oh gosh, almost a year ago, and killed it. And he didn't have time to uh, get it fixed before the next race, because it was like two or three days away, and so he bought a new bike. <laughs> Which, by the way, I completely support that kind of behavior if you can afford it. <laughs> I've done it myself. When I couldn't afford it, that wasn't a good idea. But I did it anyway, and it's awesome. So, yeah, he bought a new bike, got through the season, and finally now it's uh, cold and snowy here and where he lives over in Gunnison. So he's going to uh, get his two-stroke back going. Uh, the bike he bought was a four-stroke. He doesn't love it. It's a four-stroke. So in the woods and the tight stuff, it's kind of hard to ride for him and for me. And maybe you're not like that, but whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway... So yeah, I'm stoked. We're gonna take this thing apart, take a good look at it, see what parts we need, and go from there. There we go, there's our project. Here we are, let me introduce you to the hammer which is what this gentleman calls uh, this bike. Partially because he hammers it, partially because he drops the hammers when he's riding it. Number 301 here is gonna get rebuilt. So here's the story. Uh, he's been riding this thing a lot of hours on it. He was riding over near Blue Mesa Reservoir and like going out into the <laughs> reservoir on the beaches, which is seriously awesome. <laughs> but it may have caused this problem, but it's still awesome. And <clears throat> When he was doing that, he got a little deep and a whole bunch of water up in the air box and then the boom. And it died, <clears throat> hydro locked, wouldn't restart. I uh, decided, well, let's push it back, take it home. Say, so takes it home, took it to their local shop, and they took it apart, as you can see over here. Diagnosed it, said you needed everything, crank and everything. There's a little bit of grit down in there. It's got a lot of hours. It's an 08 300, so it. I'm sure it's probably about time anyway. But he couldn't afford it at the time. Uh, knew that he could finance a new bike. <laughs> so well, all kinds of bad decisions were made. But he <laughs> financed a new bike, uh, finished up the race season, all that stuff. Found us on on the line. And was like, man, I want those guys to rebuild the motor. So that's, thank you very much, super cool. So he brought it over. Uh, once the snow flew and everything quieted down, so they brought it over. So we're going to rebuild it. We're going to put a crank in it. Going to put a top end in it. Going to service the suspension. Got to go through the carburetor. It's been sitting a while. And we're going to go through the whole thing tip to tail and make it race ready. Because he really likes this bike better than his new bike as far as racing. So we've got a lot of taking apart to do today. So we're going to get everything apart. Take a look at the cylinder. Take a look at the carburetor. Decide whether we need to uh, replate the cylinder. Or if we're going to be good. I haven't even looked at it. So who knows. Probably we'll replate it to make this thing like perfect and brand new. Here we go. I got a girl. She is so fine. Alright, so as we're taking this thing apart, I figured I'd uh, share one little tip here. So with the hydraulic clutch, right, you gotta get that line off and everything uh, to get the motor out of the frame. I've seen some people take the line off, and that's fine, obviously it works, but then that forces you to definitely have to bleed the clutch when you're done. I like to take the whole master cylinder off and just take it out. And you can put it up there or wherever. Get it out of the way. Uh, then you can just bolt it back on. Now, 
the one thing you really have to be careful about with that is that if someone comes by and squeezes the clutch uh, lever, or you do out of habit or whatever while it's sitting on a lift, um, you can actually push the piston out of it and then yeah, it's a pain in the butt. So uh, you got to think about that. But other than that, I think that is the best way to do that so that then you don't have to bleed it. Or at least if you bleed it, it's a lot easier than less air. So another quick tech tip. Always drain the oil out before you take the engine out of the frame. If you're going to be taking the motor apart, do that. <laughs> or, yeah, it's just a mess. You got to like split the cases in a pan or something like that, or you make a giant mess. So super duper easy, but will save you a lot of hassle in the long run. All right, we got the motor out. It's over there. And uh, we're going to go through that in a little bit. I don't know if we'll get to that uh, for this schlog. We'll definitely make a whole separate video on replacing the crank and all that. But um, <clears throat> We know that we're replacing everything inside that, but what we don't know for sure is what we're going to do with the cylinder, because uh, I don't know what it looks like yet, but here it is. So let's take a look and see um, if we think it needs to be replated. Again, I'm kind of leaning towards it does, because it's just got so many hours on the bike, um, but we'll take a look first before we make a decision. Someone clean the head up. Looks nice. All right. It looks really good, but there's some things that I'm seeing that are making me lean even more towards getting ready to Let me show you. Right in here, if you look real close, you can see a little mark right there. You can't feel it with your fingernail, but I don't think. Ah, but you definitely see it. And then it's really hard to see in this uh, video, but you can see right down here right at the exhaust port it's a little discolored and that makes me think that that either got hot or more likely when he sucked water and sand and whatever into it it <clears throat> wore that down so you know and it's not definitely as thick as it was so if we could measure it um with the uh, dial board gauge and all that but i don't think we really need to i think uh I think I've seen all I need to see, and this gentleman already told me when he dropped it off, he's like, you know, do whatever it takes to make it brand new. So, if we're going to do that, we're going to replace the cylinder. Now, this cylinder has been ported and stuffed by Jeff Slavens, and you can tell. Let me show you what that looks like. If you don't know what porting uh, a bike is, now, <clears throat> let me back up. True porting a bike is you're changing the heights of some of these ports in there. You're going to change heights and things like that. Um, honestly, Jeff doesn't do that. <laughs> uh, I'm looking at all those ports and the heights and the shapes are all the same. Uh, but what he does do, which is really good and makes definitely a lot of performance, is he takes these right here and he really cleans up these ports a bunch. Any knife edges that um, so on a stock cylinder that would not be so sharp looking um, on either of those they'd be kind of blunt also all this would have casting flaws here um, so he does a really good job of that uh, and that really does make a big difference yeah looks good so now we just gotta take the power valve out of it and get ready uh, to send off to Millennium oh guys right on that was a little short one pretty slow right now uh, waiting on some parts on some uh, different projects and things like that. So, thanks for joining me. Blah. Thanks for joining me for the schlag episode three. You guys have a great day. Get out, spread the gospel of two wheels, and please find some time to ride your dirt bikes. Oh,